everybody. I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am still in Cusco. I have been here for almost a month now, but I'm kind of excited to say that I am going to be leaving in the next two to three days, but I thought I would just make a video for you here today of how I'm spending my last few days. It's literally just going to be a chilled out little vlog here in Cusco. That's all it is. I found Cusco to be such a good city to work online, honestly. I find that in most of the cafes and restaurants that you go to here, the Wi-Fi is actually very, very good. I'm currently just working in my hostel. Uh, this one's called the Now Victoria Hostel. I definitely say that this one is one of my favorites, not because of the social life. It's not a very social hostel. However, it's super centrally located, probably the best located hostel that there is it's really clean the rooms are really nice the amenities are good i feel very comfortable here and it kind of feels like a bit of a safe haven amongst the chaos of cusco and for that reason i really really like it i wouldn't recommend here if you like want slash need to make friends i haven't really made any friends here but that's fine <laughs> it's not been my goal um it's mainly just been somewhere that i can just feel comfortable but also just really in the center of the city but anyway yeah that's just a little ode to my hostel here uh, before we get into the rest of this video i'd like to introduce the sponsors of today's video surfshark so surfshark are a vpn which stands for virtual private network and a vpn is something that we should all be having on our devices in 2022 going into 2023 especially when you are traveling now a vpn has a whole host of benefits but some of my favorites which i am using every single day here is that a vpn turns your public wi-fi connection into a private one so have you ever been in a cafe in a hostel or in an airport where you have connected yourself to a free public wi-fi network we've all done it but did you know that when we do this your device is at risk of being hacked hackers can get in via that public wi-fi internet connection however when you have surfshark switched on it immediately acts as a virtual shield on your connection so that your device is not at risk of being hacked. It's super important that we are using VPNs on our devices in this day and age and what a VPN can also do is change the virtual location of your device. So have you ever been in a foreign country or even in your own country and you're on the internet and you're trying to download something or access something and it says sorry you can't access this because this media is not available in your country. It's super frustrating however with the click of a button on Surfshark you can change your virtual location to pretty much anywhere in the world so you can change your virtual location to a country where that media or service is available and it will immediately be available to you it's so convenient to use and surfshark is one of the only vpns which allows you access on an unlimited number of your devices with just the one account and not only that, but Surfshark are giving you guys an amazing discount of 83% off plus an extra three months for free when you use my code backpacking or using the link in the description. So don't miss out. So I have this dilemma, I'm hungry. And do I go to somewhere that I like or do I go somewhere new in my last few days? And I think I'm gonna go to somewhere that I like. I'm gonna go to my favorite place, Kura, because I need to do some uploading and they just have the absolute fastest upload speeds that I have experienced here in Cusco and also the food is really really good and they're really really nice and um, actually the owner told me that he also owns a co-living space here in Cusco which I think sounds so good and he said he doesn't know anyone else who has made something like this and he markets it on Airbnb I didn't know it existed but if I did I definitely would have considered staying there if I can find this place this co-living space on Airbnb I'll definitely link it in the description if any of you guys are working online and wanting to stay in Cusco for a bit of time because I just think it sounds like a great concept and also the owner was really really nice <laughs> okay i changed my mind because there's literally like a queue to get a table in there not that i should be surprised because it's really really good um i'm gonna try another favorite avocado toast and more which is just around this corner <laughs> Oh, 
that was blooming delicious. I haven't actually had the smoked trout and avo in there before, but that was really, really good. <laughs> I actually think I prefer that to the food that I get in Kura. So that was good. The only thing that annoys me about in there is one, the Wi-Fi is not the best and two, the guy, so I speak to him in Spanish and he just speaks back to me in English. He doesn't like really let me try with the Spanish. And he almost speaks to me in a way as if to be like, don't even try to speak Spanish, which just annoys me um, because I want to practice, obviously. Like I know I'm not perfect, but you know. But anyway, the food was still good. I would still go back for that. So now I'm just going to go back to the hostel, to work for a bit more um, because the Wi-Fi was actually working pretty well in there this morning and I've got to get more work done. But on the note of Wi-Fi, you see Starbucks just here. This is the Plaza de Armas, by the way. The Wi-Fi in Starbucks, terrible. Really nice vibe in there. Very like cool to work if you don't need a good connection but yeah no you can hardly actually work off their wi-fi whatsoever so just a note if you are here not that i normally like to recommend starbucks anyway i would normally like to recommend the independence but sometimes it's just good to know what it's like to work in the local starbucks you know i had a gel pedicure here yesterday and, voila. and it was really really good <laughs> um i don't think i haven't had a pedicure in like years but i just felt like my feet were just so nasty after all the hiking and it was so worth it 100 percent recommend after you've done your big hikes here in cusco go get a massage go get a manicure go get a pedicure they're really affordable here and they're so worth it so I've been working all day. I feel like it's been really nice and productive. And so now I'm going to enjoy my evening. And uh, no gracias. I'm meeting up with a friend actually, my friend Cindy, who was on the second Pakistan tour. She is in town with her girlfriend, which is very, very exciting. So I'm going to meet her right in the middle of the Plaza de Armas by the fountain. Hopefully, <laughs> if all goes to plan. and a water at the free hostel breakfast as opposed to any of the food just because I just wanted to enjoy the view but I didn't want to eat there because I really really want to try out a restaurant called Jack's Cafe and the reason I haven't is because I've tried going there and there's just always a queue and I'm just someone who just doesn't <laughs> like queuing for restaurants but it is one of my last mornings here and I am determined to go to Jack's Cafe because it's one of the top rated everyone talks about it so I feel like I have to go so today I'm willing to queue so I mean hopefully it's not going to be too big, but I'm going around 10 o'clock in the morning. I actually managed to get the last table and it's just like this tiny little single table in the corner, so it's actually kind of perfect. But now people are having to queue outside, so this was a good time. I'm not sure where to start with this. Okay, so my review of Jack's Cafe. The food was good. It was pretty basic food. Like it's not gourmet at all. Not that that, not that, that was what I was expecting, but the portion sizes are huge. I could not finish my avocado toast, which never really happens. <laughs> I feel like I've generally got a big appetite. So I would only go there if you do have a really big appetite. The service was really, really good. The prices were very, very reasonable. And the Wi-Fi was good when it worked, but then it cut out quite a few times. So that's my review of Jack's Cafe. Would go there again. Not my favorite in town, but 
you know, wasn't expecting that. Another beautiful day in Cusco. I've generally had really, really good weather here, you know. It's generally been sunny almost every single day. I think I've only experienced rain like once in the day here and I've been here for a whole month. So I'd say that that was really, really good. Obviously it is a lot cloudier and rainier when you go into the mountains. I'm just gonna head back to the hostel now. I'm gonna meet back up with Cindy and Lily uh, this afternoon to hopefully do a free walking tour because I have not done that in the city yet and I feel like I'm gonna need to do that before I leave Cusco. <laughs> This is Jose, he is our walking tour guide. And Cindy and Lilia here. Yee-hee! Oh. Are you being Machu Picchu? Not yet. Not yet, Steve. Do you have an idea about Inca people, please? Mm. These guys just came from the south, from Lake Titicaca area, okay? Mm. At the end, by 1180, they settled in on, over here. That was like the beginning of the I mean, original Inca wall. On the left, you know, built during the 15th century. 15th century. 15th century. Why they are the bottom? Nanto for more stability. So inside there were houses. Oh my god, we've just been brought into an alpaca field. I haven't got a whole lot of pictures with alpacas, only one at Mary Rainbow Mountain, which you can see here. But you just see them everywhere around Cusco, and they're so cute. The llamas are kind of like a bit skinnier with longer necks it seems like and then the alpacas are a bit like fluffier and rounder. That's my definition of how to distinguish them. Look, this is alpaca, right? The brown is the waka you see behind the lady. The black and the white, you know, the suri species, cannot rust alpaca. <laughs> Each one for one family, about six to eight members, so at least 300 members living in this, you know. Okay, yeah, oh, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very oh, big one. I feel like this is like an Inca stone wall city tour. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Doesn't it remind you of the Flintstones? Because it does me. Big stone, right? About two tons or eight tons. <laughs> One block like this, please. Wow. We're now coming up into the San Blas neighborhood, which I really wanted to explore, actually, so I'm really, really glad that we're coming here. I mean, I have been up here a couple of times to random different bars and restaurants, but never properly explored. And I think part of that is because it's kind of up on a hill, so it's not somewhere that you naturally just like gravitate to. It's so beautiful. ¿Cuál es tu parte favorito en Cusco? Cusco? I mean, San Blas neighborhood maybe. <laughs> sí, es tu favorito. But, you know, for tourists it's the best because like a bar, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. The Bohemian area. Yeah. For instance, maybe. This neighborhood is just so cute. I love it, so beautiful. Yeah, this is the way to the lookout. 100 steps to the 100 steps to the lookout. The okay, you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, off I go. What's the name of the lookout? Uh, just, I mean, just right there, San Blas Lookout. Okay, San Blas, San Blas Lookout. I've been to this cafe before. It's called Limbus Resto Bar. It's a good one to come to. Big recommendation if you're in the San Blas area. Look how cute it is through there. And then after a hundred steps or so, you get to the San Blas Mirador, the lookout. How beautiful. Very nice, very nice, well done. During sunset? Yeah, that was a well planned. <laughs> oh, and look, it's like Paris's Love Lock Bridge, but just not quite so many love, love locks. So our walking tour guide, Jose, has just left us up in San Blas. I bought myself a little Siete Vidas 
Pina Milkshake IPA. I'm curious, apparently it's limited edition. He was all right, Jose. The, it, we found him, it was just like the Cusco walking tour guide. You meet outside KFC on the Plaza de Armas. He was quite quiet and it felt like an Inca wall <laughs> tour, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was nice to actually be told about the places I've been walking around for like a month. Limited edition. I do have a new pair of Seven Vegas. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Are you watching her? We'll probably grab another one. <laughs> it's kind of an Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like it more than a regular beer. It's fruity. Would you like to try? Yeah, I would love to try some. Would you like to try ours? Uh, yeah. Chris Kenya. Yeah, it's Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's more like traditional beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a cider, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. So, Lily and Cindy have the coolest little paint set. So, all of these colours, they're all stackable. Mm -hmm. And then these paint brushes have water stacked like in them yeah. and so they're just like self-washing you don't need to have like a pot of water i've never seen this in my life before and so what they've done is they've they've bought this really cool like peruvian notepad at the start of their trip and then they just paint some fun little watercolor sketches you don't have to be good at painting we're really bad at painting, <laughs> yeah, good at painting. it's just fun and I love that. Yeah. This is the coolest idea ever. <laughs> and you also use that as a sketchbook. Yeah. Uh, not a sketchbook, a scrapbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And or a sketchbook. Sketchbook and a scrapbook. <laughs> a sketch scrapbook. This is a really good idea. I know what I'm like when I get ideas out. I see this and I'm like, oh, that's really good. And then I just know I'll never do it. But I really, really appreciate seeing you do it. <laughs> Still got cheese in there. Oh, no cheese, okay? Uh, no cheese. No cheese. Okay, we've come to Limbus Resto Bar, which is what I mentioned earlier. I've never been here for dinner. Call me. Gonna get a copyright strike. Gracias. I got the alpaca burger. Wow. Yes, yes. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. No, I'm very terrified. 